No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. I have my own social media marketing agency called Brampaneer here in the Netherlands and I also coach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first client, how to automate it, scale it so that you can live life on your own terms. Now on Sundays I have my live uh, coaching calls with those who are enrolled in the coaching program. So every Sunday around 7 o'clock uh, Dutch time I uh, go live in the private group and we basically you know exchange ideas, exchange knowledge. I always have like a small uh, lesson, small takeaway that I also want to present to those that are in the coaching group. And um, in last Sunday's coaching call um, we basically spent some time talking about the mindset and about you know basically all distractions, deep work, etc. So we actually shied away from the regular how to get results for clients, how to automate the client outreach, etc. So we sort of shied away from the social media marketing business model and we just took a moment to talk about life in general. How is it that the internet is our basically our greatest ally but also our greatest enemy at the same time because it's literally the greatest tool ever created but it can also suck you in and prevent you from reaching your goals it can distract you from what you need to be doing etc so we took this moment to talk about dopamine levels distraction deep work and um i thought it was really valuable as i mentioned you know it, usually we go really deep into uh, the social media marketing structure we share each other's screen uh, we help uh, I help the coaching students out with their clients, etc., how to get better results and so on and so forth, so that when they do get clients in with the program, uh, they also get the right results as well, so that they keep the clients that they have. But like I said, you know, this time we just did things slightly different, and I thought it would be very interesting for you guys to see as well, so that you can also make sure that your mindset is on point, that you are just aware of the distractions that are available, you know, or basically out there on the internet, on social media, and basically what you need to sack sacrifice almost if you want to reach your goal so i'm going to show you that quick snippet now so uh yeah i hope you enjoy it um if you do then please leave it with a thumbs up also for those of you that aren't enrolled or aren't subscribed to my channel just yet uh, make sure you do i am posting a lot of content about social media marketing online entrepreneurship etc and i've noticed that 60 percent of people that watch my channel aren't actually subscribed and i do have this goal of reaching 10k subscribers this year so if you are not yet subscribed uh, consider subscribing because there's a lot of content coming your way so like i said put your feet up like the video and i'll see you after the snippet and then lastly uh, before we go to your questions in terms of the focus um, I've been watching a lot of Alex Becker stuff and if you guys are familiar with that guy yeah. and I've read uh, The Shallows What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains which I thought was a very interesting book it's basically about how our brains are slowly adapting to having all of the information that is available on the internet and they did small tests on for example taxi drivers in London um, basically before they actually started um, you know, becoming a cab driver and after like 20 years of becoming a taxi driver, what a difference were in the size of their brain, etc. And the part, the memory, the part of the, their memory that remembers like all the streets was much, much bigger after, um, you know, basically 20 years of being a taxi driver. So they knew all the streets, etc. And their brain, that part of the brain was much bigger um, than, for example, the average guy um, you know, with that part of the brain and the same goes for with the internet, you know, it's, but it's not necessarily that we become smarter, but we just adapt over time. So with the internet, for example, we've slowly gone from knowing everything in our brains to knowing where we can find it. So we don't necessarily remember facts and uh, numbers, etc., but we just know where to find on the internet. So basically our brain is slowly adapting to having all this information so rather than having that information overload, our brain just remembers, okay, if I want to know this specific piece of information, I know that I can find it on Google, page three, blah, blah, uh, rather than saving that piece of information because there's just too much information coming at us. And you know that story about Henry Ford? No, uh, um, He was once tried in the court to basically prove he was an ignorant businessman or an ignorant yeah. man. And um, he pretty much said the same thing. I can't remember the exact quote, but... 
on you know when he's defending his position he basically gets asked a series of questions which would be common knowledge to the average man yeah and to which he responds i don't know the answer to that question but if you could easily find it in the library or the basically he just he went to the areas where he could seek uh, at the given time but didn't retain useless knowledge yeah all he filled his mind with daily was his his most important tasks and he'd then ask someone else to get the information for him rather yeah. than wasting time accumulating shit yeah um i'll send you the actual proper link because it's really awesome uh, what he I, says I, I think he said something like um i could get anybody in the room in like uh, x amount of minutes that can give me the answer yeah yeah like yeah. yeah 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 well to be fair I, I do i do like that way of thinking because um basically the way uh, alex becker is a entrepreneur he used to be like the the basically the um like online guru like ty lopez etc mm-hmm. uh, he sold courses did drop ship and had annoying ads on youtube etc right. and then he slowly moved towards so his actual business that was not um part of his personal brand was actually c- consistently growing so now he's actually basically that is his form of income now his business um high i think it's called so he does not need to basically make money off of attention on youtube etc so now he just uses that to actually give value, knowing that um, no one's going to buy anything off of him on YouTube because he's not selling anything. He's got an actual business in the background. And he's basically saying now that, um, so basically now his, now his videos, at first they were really annoying, Lambos in the background, etc. Yeah. And now he's like, no, you know, now he's like really giving a lot of value. And he's basically talking about um, having laser focus. And what he does is he goes on, dopamine detoxes so with the internet and what i also read in in uh, the shallows is the internet has so much information there's so many like basically shiny lights and pop-ups etc everything is basically grabbing for our attention and the reason why we reply to that is because of that dopamine hit so if we get a email for example or notification on our phones you know, we get that hit of dopamine because we received you know a message we want to know what it is we want that excitement um, you know, we, we basically uh, crave that, that that new piece of information. Um, and because of that, our dopamine levels are all over the place. So we no longer feel motivated to do hard tasks because we can also get that same level of dopamine from a YouTube video, a cat video, a meme, you know, an, an email, etc. cetera. Mm-hmm. Um, so what Alex Becker explains is you need to go on dopamine, what he calls dopamine detoxes, so switch off your phone or, or have your phone on black and white so you don't get all those shiny colors. Uh, switch off the notifications. You know, make, train yourself to be, be focused on one uh, specific thing at a time. And I noticed it myself. When I watch um, like content on YouTube or you know, basically something that I want to learn, I, every two seconds I'll think of something new and I'll move to that next thing. I'll move to that next shiny object. And what I've started doing now is when I watch something informative or something that I want to know, I'll literally just create a list, like literally everything that comes to mind that I want to immediately do, I'll write down first, okay, after this video, do this. So I'll just full screen the video, no distractions, no recommended videos, no pop-ups, no notifications. Um, And then I'll just watch that piece of content and everything that comes to mind that is trying to distract me, you know, to give me that next hit of dopamine, that next shiny object, I'll just write down and basically train myself to just watch one thing at a time, have one tab open, do one task at a time rather than multitasking. And another thing that he mentions is that you need to basically see your your day as having 100 points, he said. And you can do with those 100 points whatever you want. Um, and a lot of people will, will have one goal and then there's obviously a lot of shiny objects and they'll give 20 points to the goal and then they'll, fo- they'll focus on something else, give 20 points there. So these are all the shiny objects, all these little random tasks that crave your attention. But there's only so many hours in a day, right? You've only got so much energy every single day. So you need to make sure that you basically give your goal the energy that that it needs and provide, uh, you know, put the time into your goal rather than all these little shiny objects. Um, You know, for example, if you are, um, I don't know, let's think something. Let's say you want to start a personal brand alongside your agency or you want to do drop shipping alongside your agency or anything like that. It's great, but um, it'll just take much, much longer for you to build up that agency um, if you're doing all these things alongside it. 
And if you've got you on the one hand that's putting in 20 points out of 100 for your goal, and then there's some other guy that's fully focused, putting 100 points in, you know, he's going to reach that goal much, much quicker than you, even though you guys have the same information, the same resources, and the same time you know, in a day. Mm-hmm. And uh, for example, Choose Pristine, my, uh, my, uh, basically my friends from Canada, uh, Quentin and Jovan, they were the same. Like, they were really, really laser focused. And that is why they were able to reach a um, million dollars profit in 53 days with their webinar. Uh, for those of you that don't know the story, they have an online course called 30 Day SMMA, or they did have, they stopped it. Um, and they just went fully focused on that. So they quit their own agency. They stopped everything else. They uh, deleted social media. They flew to uh, Bali and they literally just spent the time in Bali working on this webinar, trying to get it to work. And then after six months of just putting in the work every single day, they finally started getting conversions with the webinar. And then within 53 days, they went from zero to 1 million um, in profit from that webinar because, you know, it worked. The algorithm finally got it. You know, it was literally, okay, you put so much in and you get so much out and it was profitable. So they knew, okay, we need to scale it. And they focused all their time and energy on that. that In 53 days, literally, they went from nothing to become millionaires. And then they won that two comma club award. Uh, they were invited on stage by, um, by Russell Brunson, etc. And then the next idea was, okay, if you can do this for B2C, because they were selling an online course, this will also work for B2B. So now they've gone from a webinar to an online course to a webinar to their agency. So they run a webinar for their agency to get Spark clients. And again, laser focus. So they removed the, the online course. They So you... If you've purchased the online course, you obviously still have it, but they are, you know, they basically switched off the payment page. No one else can buy the course. They're not updating the course. They're not doing anything with it. So that's just, that, that, that chapter has ended. You know, again, deleted social media, and now they are basically trying to get the same webinar to work for B2B, for um, spa owners to become their clients. And again, laser focus. Like you, you cannot find them on Instagram because they deleted Instagram. And I've noticed a lot of people that I speak to in the industry are, deleting social media to get ahead, you know, to get that focus because they realize that it's just one big distraction. And the, basically within Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube as well, there's like that self-learning algorithm. So if you like a specific page or post, uh, the next time you go on the explore page, you will see similar posts. Like for example, yesterday I was looking at um, like the desk setups you know, people, people that have like fancy desk setups. And if I'm, I'm not sure you can see it now, but a lot of the, the posts are now like, like fancy desk setups, like things like this. Because they know, like if I see more of that, I'll spend more time on the platform. Yeah. And that's how they try and keep you in. They try and show you stuff that you're interested in. And that is why the algorithm was a game changer for social media because now it's no longer that people see the same algorithm or it's no more chronologic where the latest post is on top. It's based on your interests. So they're trying to keep you on the platform as long as possible, um, which is very dangerous, obviously, because you, you, know, you need to basically force yourself to snap out of it and um, you know, get off of Instagram, get off of Facebook, um, and focus on your goals because it's not in Facebook's best interest that you reach your goals. You know, they want to keep you on the platform. So sometimes you need to just like, you know, slap yourself in the face and uh, get back to work. And like I said, what, what I also do sometimes if I notice that I'm very... Um, distracted, I will switch my phone on black and white. Um, so you, you don't see all those shiny colors. And then obviously the images on Instagram and Facebook, etc., aren't as uh, nice looking. So you get bored quicker. Um, but yeah, that was just my little rant on, uh, on focus. Uh, do you guys understand like, what I mean with all of this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And yeah, like I said, um, so yeah, obviously if you focus all your points on your goal obviously you'll reach it much faster but um yeah like i said alex becker has a really cool channel on um you know basically that dopamine and how, how he basically stays as productive as possible and it's this video in particular like it was a, like i was i see i saw the thumbnail i was like what what the hell is this man like how, i don't even know what this is so i clicked on it and this entire video is about how he uh took those dopamine detoxes um to rewire his brain to basically get the dopamine from hard work again rather than from all those shiny objects. So if you watch his stuff, he has sold all of his, um, basically, you know, all of his 
materialistic stuff. So he no longer has the car, um, the Lambo. He's no longer got all these fancy stuff. Like he literally is, his house is just a desk, a bed, and then, you know, obviously a kitchen. Yeah. And he's just focused on his work. He said, you know, like all the fancy stuff can come later again once he's reached his goals. He said, for now, he just needs to focus. And he lives like a monk. Like he lives off of uh, oats, um, uh, oats, chicken, and, and, and like, uh, broccoli, etc. Because he does not want... Because even chocolate and sweets and candy and stuff like that, like even that, you get dopamine from that because it's sweet, it's nice. Like he, he does not want dopamine from anything. He just wants dopamine from the results of hard work. So obviously that is an extreme example, yeah. but it's really interesting to watch. So if you guys... Because um, some of his videos are like one hour long and it's just him talking to the camera. So you don't really need to see the video. I just listen to it. So when I'm doing light work, um, I'll just listen to him on the background. And uh, some of the stuff's really insightful. But especially this video, this video about dopamine detoxing is, is very, very interesting. And um, it was just a coincidence that around the same time that I read this book, that I saw that video and it was like double, you know, that like double like re- reaffirming that, yeah, I, I need to basically focus on, basically training myself to be more focused. Yeah, I love it. And it's so true. I mean, yeah, we don't realize how messed up social media has made us because we're just constantly looking for that next fix, that next like, that next bit of content to engage with. And it doesn't yeah. drive us forward that we think it does. And, you know, we so we have to seek motivation, but we don't. We just, we just fuck about too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've realized that over the time. Yeah. It's, mm. like I said, like, you've only got so much energy in a day, right? Like there's only so much you can do. Like everything you do costs mental energy. Even if it's like cleaning your room, um, taking out the garbage, you know, cleaning the dishes, it all costs you mental energy. And the same goes for like, there's only so much you can store in your brain at one time. Yeah. Um, and then obviously when you sleep, it goes from your short term memory to your long term memory. So if you're filling up your short term memory with cat videos and, and fails and TikTok and stuff like that, you know, you literally won't have enough mental capacity to uh, learn new things or acquire new skills because your brain's already full. So, um, yeah, just just think of your brain as like a, a battery. Like there's only so much you can use that you can get out before you need to go to sleep again. And if you're draining your battery with random shit, then, you know, yeah. it's, it's going to take extremely long for you to reach your goals. I've tested it before, like last year. I mean like I don't know four years ago so when I used to get up in the morning it was always last minute and I'd be fucking rushing to find some socks and pants a shirt yeah. and then uh, like a year ago or something I got out of that stage but then a year ago I, I heard this you know like trying to minimize new tasks every day and utilize your creative uh, pro, uh, sort of brain power and not waste it on things so even the simple things of picking your t-shirt your jeans your top your shirt pick that the day before and get everything ready. So you're not even choosing and because you then go through that thought of, oh, should I wear the red t-shirt, the blue one, the black one. And I just began like last year, just I have everything organized the night before. And so I just get up and it's just it's straight there. I'd have to think and fuck about for 20 minutes picking my outfit. Yeah. And even that's like men. It's like you can only make so many decisions in a day. And if you're wasting the first five decisions on what you're going to wear, yeah, it's just, that's just less decisions that you can make in a day. Did you look at like the most successful people like Zuckerberg and, and we're, Jobs we're and that? Clothes, yeah. yeah they, they don't mess about with all that yeah. stuff. Steve Jobs had that cartoon uh, wardrobe where it's all the same clothes. Every <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's a method behind that man that's like, uh, you know, obviously it is strange to see a guy wearing the same clothes, but he knew that it's just one less thing to worry about. If he just yeah. wore the same outfit every day, he could spend that mental time on other parts of the business. Yeah, in that topic, uh, the Carl Newport Deep Work is also a very good book. Yeah, I still need to read that. It's on my list. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Has anyone else read that book? What was it? Deep Work? Deep Work. Yeah, Deep Work. Yeah. No, I love that. Yeah, apparently, like a lot of people have said that book is a, is a game changer. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Yeah. Have you you've read it yet? Yeah. Yeah, I need, to, I need to get that book. There's a lot. I, I'm now reading. Um, High performance habits by Brendan Bouchard. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually free, free plus. Uh, well, you you pay for shipping, so you pay for the book, really. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, I think it was like seven dollars. It's quite a book, good book about like how you can get like more done in the same amount of time, but also have feel like you've got more energy. You know, you're more grateful, etc. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's quite a good book to read. And I'm listening to it as an audio book as well. So when yeah. I, go, uh, I try and go for a walk in the morning to get outside, because uh, otherwise it's literally just 24 seven indoors. Yeah. So in the morning I go for a walk, I listen to it on an audio book, and then I'll reread what I, what I listen to uh, in the book, just to basically mark things that I found interesting. Yeah, the interesting thing in that different book is uh, when you focus on one thing and you get distracted, it gets you 17 minutes to put your focus yeah. on back in the main thing. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. I, can you imagine like how lot I um, in the book the personal MBA by Josh Kaufman? He also mentions that. Um, Basically, the, it, it's called the cognitive switching penalty. So if you're switching, that he basically he says don't do multitasking because the time it takes for you to, uh, it's like playing a video game, right? You save it and then you upload the new game and you play that, you save that, upload the new game. Like the time mm -hmm. it takes to go from one game to another, yeah, it's like the cognitive switching penalty. And he says it's the same with multitasking. If you're going from one tab to another, um, it you know you're not in deep work. And it'll just be so mentally um, exhausting to constantly go from task to task. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's yeah, 17 minutes. It's long, man. Yeah. So basically, if you, um, if you just check your phone and yeah, it takes 17 it. minutes to get back. So yeah. Have you guys uh, heard of uh, 75 Hard by Andy Frisella? No. 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 Uh, check it out. Really like on the dopamine notes. Yeah like um, a program for 75 days of daily tasks to um, instill daily discipline. Um, like if you fail one day doing one, one of the simple tasks, you have to start with day one. Um, really helped me like putting in discipline into my daily routine. Yeah, uh, who is it by? Andy Frisella. Andy, and, yeah, Andy Frisella. I've heard of that name before. He's got like that thick pointy yeah. beard. Yeah, like exactly. What, what was the book name? It's not a book. It's a program. It's oh, uh, seventy-five hard. Well, uh, that's what it's called. How much is the program? It's hard. It's free. It's like he has free templates on his Instagram, so yep. anybody can access it. And you just have to follow the daily tasks. Um, tomorrow I start with uh, phase one, so it comes after the 70, uh, seventy-five days because mm -hmm. I finished it last week. Uh, but it's it's game changer. So what are the tasks like? What is it? Um, you have to uh, take one progress picture, two workouts a day, one outside, um, one has to be outside, 45 minutes uh, each, like minimum. Um, you can like fill it in as you wish. So if you want to go for a walk for 45, uh, 45 minutes, that's also good. Um, 10 pages of reading a day, one gallon of water. Um, yeah, stuff like that. And follow a diet, no cheat meals, no alcohol. That's really interesting, man. I'll look into that. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's a game changer. Yeah, it's the compound. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's it's like a daily discipline, like unwarranted. You can just you can't go wrong. Otherwise, you start day one. Yeah, yeah, and that, like you said, like because you know, if I fail now, you need to go all the way back. So the the more you get into it, the more you'll stick to it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting stuff, man. I'll look into that. So how you guys get on with the agencies anyway? So guys, that was the little snippet. As I mentioned, you know, we um, basically just briefly discussed the dopamine, deep work, you know, productivity, etc. So I hope you did enjoy that and you got something out of it. For those of you that are on the verge of starting your own agency, but you're just unsure, you're not sure what needs to choose, um, how to get results, uh, how to automate your agency, and you need that guidance, you know, to basically propel your agency forward. That is what I do in my coaching program. So what I do is I literally take you on as a client and I work on your agency alongside you. So I literally help you build up that agency. It's literally like you taking me on as a co-founder for your agency and me helping you scale that business and make sure everything is structured and streamlined, ready for success. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, you can schedule a call. Uh, it'll be linked in the description box down below with me to see if we are a right fit for each other. If you are, then obviously, you know, I will offer you a spot in our coaching program and we can start working on your agency. For those of you that have watched to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, click on that like button and consider subscribing thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video